my goings It's not safe For you cross me, look both ways Leaving the scene With no trace None in my lead You out of place I'm not at the top I'm out of space You can't eat with us We're out of place I'm doing fine I'm feeling great You're not my fan You can't relate Straight talk going state to state Today I am back with another five questions, and today I am here with the most marketable man, Richard Holiday. It's a pleasure to be on your show. I do believe that this is a uh, your inaugural show. This is your your first ever time running a podcast. Am I right in saying that? Yep. And to have me as your guest, that must be quite the privilege for you. Yeah. That must be quite the honor. Yeah. So I, I am uh, I'm happy to assist you on your journey of uh of being a podcaster here <laughs> thank you <laughs> okay so first question what makes you the most marketable man hmm that's a question i get quite often um uh typically i would tell whoever is asking me that to uh you know just kind of brush up on my work or to a take a look at me but for you i will give you an educated answer and the reason that i am the most marketable is because well i do have a degree in marketing that is a very real thing uh, so I understand the concept of marketing and how important it is in business and what it takes to be successful with the use of marketing and how it's such a powerful agent in order to make your brand and or product uh, successful in the marketplace. And the particular marketplace that we're in is professional wrestling and the brand or the product would be me. And uh, I just know uh, it's not even much of a belief. It's 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 common knowledge that I contain all the qualities that would uh, requires somebody to be successful within professional wrestling. Ah, okay. Number two, what makes your coffee so good? Well, uh, my coffee is fantastic. It's not just so good. But what makes it fantastic is the fact that, you know, these are hand-selected beans um, of Guatemalan descent uh, that I tasted and tried and made sure uh, that these this was a coffee for a coffee drinker. It's a, it's a very coffee drinker's coffee, and I that's what I've told people anytime that they've asked me my opinion on it. It's not, you know, a Folgers K-cup uh, in the morning kind of coffee drinker. This is for somebody who truly enjoys coffee and uh, likes to sit down and enjoy a nice cup. Um, don't think I came unprepared. This rarefied air right here, I could just smell the aroma. There's a little, there's a little something on the uh, back of the bag where you can kind of get a whiff of what it smells like, which will give you an inclination of what it tastes like, of course. And uh, this is really just the best coffee I've ever had. I wouldn't put my name on anything else. So that's the reason. <laughs> okay. Number three. Who do you want to start a rival with? Who do I want to start a rivalry with? Yeah. I would like to start a rivalry with a, uh, a tea drinker. Whoever is the number one tea drinker in professional wrestling, first off, I don't know if anybody would even admit that in public, uh, to be quite honest with you, because that would be very embarrassing. But if there is somebody out there who thinks that they are, uh, you know, the the tea drinker of professional wrestling, then I would instantly start a rivalry with them because, A, I wouldn't respect them. Uh, B, I would think they're a joke. And C, I'd want to run them out of town. So that okay. that would be – that would – please, I, I, honestly, I hope somebody comes out and says – that they are uh, a tea drinker uh, in comparison to me. So. <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> uh, number four. Why do you like AirPods so much? Well, AirPods are extraordinarily convenient, as you might be able to tell. I am completely cord free right now. Um, on the phone with you, and I, I, I find them to be uh, uh, a very necessary part of my day to day, a part of my life. And I'm a very busy individual. I have a lot of things going on. So to be able to just kind of click uh, and kind of tune out the world or bring the world back into me or let somebody into my ears, uh, it is very convenient. And also, I made them popular. So. Ah, okay. Of course. Hey, so for this question, don't get mad at me, okay? Well, when you preface a question by saying don't get mad at me, my initial reaction is, well, I'm going to get mad at this question. But you've been such a great host so far. Uh, let's just let it rip. Just let it roll. Okay. The fifth and final question. As the rumor has been going on, are you and Alicia L2 dating? You know, <laughs> you were doing such a good job 
as a host. You you really had potential, um, you know, even better than your father, to be to quite honest with you. And uh, I thought that you could have taken over the show, but then now you ask me, you know, that question. Uh, no, Alicia and I are not dating. She wishes that we were dating, of course. Um, I am so far out of Alicia's league that I'm not even sure that she understands what league I'm in. Um, it's it's a very dynastic league, uh, very exclusive, I might add. Also, I would never date a Canadian. Um, that's just first and, and foremost. Um, so, you know, it, it's just, no, we're not dating. Um, you know, I don't, I don't really hate her um, per se. You know, I, I believe that there are some moments where she's a good, quite a lovely individual. But, you know, it's just we, I don't, we don't really click that way. We don't really uh, see eye to eye in a couple of different things. And, yeah, I mean, no, we're not dating. You sure? I'm very positive. <laughs> All right. She answered it. She answered it. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for answering it professionally, sir. You're fantastic. You know who you are. I answered it as, as professionally as I could. <laughs> well, thank you for the time. I very appreciate it. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. You did a, you did a four-fifths of a fantastic job, the fifth question. But uh, I'm just playing with you. You did, your, you did great. Thank you. I appreciate it. Well, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please smash the like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you get notified each time we post a video. And I'll see you guys all next time. Peace. <laughs> Thank you so much for listening. Don't forget to tune in next week for another great episode on all available podcast platforms and hosted on Podbean. Also, check us out on YouTube at Straight Talk Wrestling, on Instagram at Straight Talk Wrestling, on Facebook at Straight Talk Wrestling, and on Twitter at underscore Straight Talk. And if you feel the need to buy some sweet merch, check us out on ProWrestlingTees.com. Leaving the scene with no trace. Not in my league. You out of place. I'm not at the top. I'm out of space. Can't eat with us. We're out of place. I'm doing fine. I'm feeling great. You're not my fan. You can't relate. Straight talk going state to state.